Hello folks, I've returned to Seven Mile just in time too as the train coming. This is a place that was on the news. They're complaining about uh, three crossings up here. This is the main one. The news media was here and they were complaining about this crossing being blocked by trains. So I want to see if I can figure out what's going on with that. They weren't real specific on what's going on, what the problem was. But here comes the train. This is a problem crossing that was on television. We're being blocked. Tell you a good shot here somehow. Those gates went up quick. Well, that didn't really answer any of my questions. I'm not sure what the problem here is yet. It's my second time to visit this since I saw it on the news. Just trying to figure out what it is, you know, that, that's causing the problem with these crossings. Because I saw it on the news, there's three of them that they're complaining about being blocked by the, the trains. But they go through here so they're gone fast i'm not sure what the issue is hopefully we can catch another train and figure this out thanks for watching folks give me a thumbs up i checked out all three of the crossings and i still can't figure out what the issue is what the train's blocking them another train just went by it was an intermodal train i didn't film it but it only took a few minutes for it to go by it was hauling butt too um so i went ahead and moved i went on up the tracks just a few miles south to where this line ties into a csx line so there's a bridge over here with csx and norfolk southern so let's see if we can get a train over here now keep the video going son it's pretty cool here it'd be really cool to catch a train coming over this bridge right here that's what i'm hoping for this big deck girder bridge or whatever it is this place is a little bit dangerous though you got the um, Little Miami River right there, and there's a big hole right here. Here's another angle at that hole. Do not grab this old rotted tree, because it'll break over. You don't want to step over here in that hole. It drops right down into the river. There's the river. Miami River. And you don't want to step over this either. That's straight down right there. That ledge is straight down, son. That puts you in the water and in the hospital at the same time. Anyways, I think there's a train coming. I just heard one coming up here behind me, so let's see what we got. Okay, here comes the CSX train. You got CSX and Norfolk Southern both using this line here. All the trains of that line I just came from come over this line here also on the way to Cincinnati to and from. That train's not going very fast at all. It's a local.
GSX equipment defect detector. File post 27.7. Track 1. No defects. No defects. Total axle 1. 6. End of transmission. See if I can reach this thing over. Can't reach any farther than that. That's cool looking though. That's as far over as I could reach. There it goes across the bridge. Going across the Miami River. Well, you got to hear the defect detector go off. That was pretty cool. A little tiny local going through here. Thanks for watching, folks. Give me a thumbs up and all that stuff. Wonder where they're going. There's all kinds of stuff laying down here by the river underneath the railroad bridge. Some kind of a metal wall right there. Maybe an old flood wall. Here's a brand new, never used railroad tie. There's tie plates. I saw a pile of spikes way over that way. All kinds of stuff just kind of being wasted down here. That's really steep. There's a pile of spikes right there. Somehow they got down into the, the waterway here underneath the trestle. All kinds of steel and stuff laying around down here. There's also a park right on the other side of that road over there. Baseball fields with a little dirt road that comes underneath that bridge and comes over to the railroad tracks. And what's this? We got some old insulators up there from the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad days. Pretty cool. Let's have a close look at the rail here, folks. First of all, we notice it's a 122 pound rail. That's 122 pounds per yard, okay? And it's made by Lackawanna. 1964 was when this was rolled. Four dashes means April. Rolled in April. 1964. Now, right across on the other side, you got the same size rail, 122 pounds per yard, but it's made by Krupp, rolled in 1981, January of 1981 over there if it shows up. I can't tell if it's showing up on camera. Then, let's go over here a little bit. We've got where it goes to 136 pound rail, 136 pounds per yard, made by Avraz USA, rolled 2009. And you can see where it goes from 122 pounds on the right to 136 pounds per yard on the left, where they welded together. Two different size rail. Now we've got another company over here, a fourth company, MyTow USA, 136 pounds per yard. And then your trestle bridge, it's right there. So it's 122 pounds per yard coming up to the bridge, 136 pounds per yard across the bridge, and it goes back to 122 again. Four different companies have rolled the rail in this one little section right here. 
So that's pretty cool. Dated from 1964, 1981 up to 2009. Anyways, I think it's interesting. I've returned to the Norfolk Southern line by itself here. There's the railroad crossing at the road. And here we have an abandoned trailer park. Look at this. There's a whole bunch of roads back in here. A mattress and box springs right there. Not sure what that's doing there. Saw a stove on down in the middle of the road too. There's a whole bunch of roads back in here. And all the mobile homes are long gone. The railroad track is still out there though. Here's the main sign for the trailer park. And all the trailers are gone. Hard to believe this used to be a big community at one time. The railroad track is still over here. And look at this. For the road leading out of the mobile home park, they have this old railroad crossing light. Bottom part is white and the top is yellow. Looks like it still works too. Sure would like to see that in use. Pretty cool, just south of Seven Mile, Ohio. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more! Woo! So that was a look here, folks. Just barely getting here in time. This is how it's done. Wow, that is cool looking. That's awesome. That vandalism was so cool looking.
Oh, they keep coming. Man, did they empty the yard for that one. Gosh, that thing was long. It took about 11 minutes to go by. Wow. How many cars was that? That thing was so long, I had to take my shirt off. I got hot. Thanks for watching, folks. That was pretty cool. And right now, we are in Hamilton. And Hamilton, just a few miles south of Seven Mile. I never did figure out what the problem was with those crossings. Only a couple trains went through on that line. Only two trains went through, and I filmed one of them. So that was interesting. Look at the skinny butt. Look at the skinny butt. What are you doing? Look at you doing this. Look at this little skinny butt. Mm, it's okay, baby. It's okay. I know. It's a yucky. It'll be alright. She is dirty though. I don't like this water. You know what? I don't think the fleas like that soap either. I don't like the soap either. right there. 